गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी अच्छे बच्चा क्यों रो रहा है बेटे पीडियाट्रिक्स वार्ड में है क्या ओ नीट पीजी में पीडियाट्रिक्स का टेन मार्क्स होता है टेन मार्क्स इन पीडियाट्रिक्स एंड टू मास्टर दिस टेन मार्क्स इन पीडियाट्रिक्स आप रीडिंग रूम में बैठ के अगर पढ़ाई करें तो जल्दी भूल जाओगे इसलिए आप कहा जाना है पीडियाट्रिक्स वार्ड में जाके बैठो और पढ़ो फटाफट रिवीजन हो जाएगा गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी दिस इज डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज टुडे इज सेप्टेंबर टेंथ वी स्टिल हैव अबाउट फोर्टीन वीक्स टू मास्टर द बेसिक्स एंड गो फॉर दी नीट पीजी टू बिकम द टॉपर I am your reading room mate, classmate, YouTube mate, WhatsApp mate to be with you every day to inspire you to prepare for the NEET PG. Now let us make the great beginning. A little, we will next ten fifteen minutes maybe we will revise some uh, important uh, items, bullets in uh, the pediatrics. What are the PDA dependent congenital heart disorders? They were after basically. PDA is trying to connect the aorta and the pulmonary pulmonary artery pulmonary artery and aorta ye dono ko connect kar rahe so if the PDA is patent it is like an ambassador which can be able to make the right sided blood to still go into the लेफ्ट साइड और लेफ्ट साइड ब्लड टू कम बैक टू राइट साइड अगर कुछ सर्कुलेशन इफ देर इज एनी डिफेक्ट विद इन दार्ट देन द पीडीआई इज द ओनली कंज्यूट बाय विच द लेफ्ट एंड राइट कनेक्शन कैन हैपन नाउ व्हाट आर ऑल द कंडीशंस व्हिच रिक्वायर द पीडीए दे आर कॉल्ड पीडीए डिपेंडेंट कंजेनेटल हार्ट डिसऑर्डर क्वेक्टेशन ऑफ आयोटा आयोटा नैरो हो गया और इट गॉट blocked so pda is the only way by which the circulation can reestablish transposition of the great arteries hypoplastic left ventricle anomalous pulmonary venous circulation pulmonary veins instead of draining into right atrium if they are draining into left atrium fear that once more that blood go right side lane ke liye you require a connection between the left and right that is what pda is doing is like total anomalous pulmonary venous circulation where the pulmonary veins instead of draining into the um, uh, left atrium if they are draining into the right atrium you need to reconnect them back the pulmonary veins go you need to reconnect them back for that you require left atrial left and right sided connection to be patent so that is a pda dependent condition similarly tricuspid atresia if there is a tricuspid atresia the right atrial blood unable to go into right ventricle into pulmonary artery so that is the reason the right sided circulation got blocked blood is unable to go to lungs to get purified so there should be some connection that is the pda which once more connects the right and left and then try to get the blood back towards the left side Uh, towards the lungs in order to get them purified is what you need to remember once more summarize doctor coagulation of aorta transposition of the great vessels hypoplastic left heart total anomalous pulmonary venous connection and tricuspid atresia are called pda dependent congenital heart diseases one of the favorite question of the examiner now doctor congenital syphilis what are you going to remember penicillin therapy it is curative and it prevents the development of late manifestations what are the late manifestations frontal pausing saddle nose hutchison's teeth etc etc now hiv always you suspect hiv when when the infant is having failure to thrive or lymphadenopathy or if there is any oral thrush in the setting of a risky maternal behavior either she is a intravenous drug abuser or if she is uh, having any promiscuity then you need to suspect hiv infection and those 
pregnant patients who have a risky behavior the recommendation is both the first and third trimester you need to get uh, the hiv antibody testing done because it will take up to 3 months to develop a detectable antibody so initially there may be a false negative antibody during the first trimester so that is the reason first and third both you have to do and uh, what is the best way you can diagnose in the infants doctor hiv pcr polymerase chain reaction typically from the birth to birth to 18 months it is the polymerase chain reaction which is considered to be the diagnostic investigation abhi chota raju mein bp bad gaya hypertension what is the most common cause of the secondary hypertension in the case of the children it is fibromuscular dysplasia 20% of all cases which is typically seen in the also seen in the premenopausal women if you do physical examination there is a hum or bruise in the costovertebral angle because of the collaterals the right renal artery is more often affected than the left renal artery in fibromuscular dysplasia and the angiography shows string of beads string of beads appearance of the renal artery in case of the fibromuscular dysplasia is what you have to remember now doctor pediatrics is very easy interesting and uh, you can easily conquer and get a very good score doctor right now let us uh, take up the next topic congenital hypothyroidism the most common cause of the congenital hypothyroidism hota hai thyroid dysgenesis 85% cases mein 10% it is hormone synthesis and 5% it can be maternal receptor blocking antibodies but the most common is thyroid dysgenesis please don't forget initially patients i mean the newborn child is uh, initially asymptomatic because of the presence of some amount of mother's hormone coming into the baby and uh, abdominal bloating a resistant macrocytic anemia is a very important clue for the congenital hypothyroidism and a noisy breathing please don't forget so summarize congenital hypothyroidism thyroid dysgenesis dysgenesis taiyar nahi hua thyroid gland ka taiyari nahi hua iodine deficiency nahi hai thyroid ka taiyari mein dikkat hai dysgenesis most common cause majority are asymptomatic mark my word that is the reason we do the screening why do we poke the baby's uh, uh, big toe and try to get a little of blood sample lethargy hoarseness of voice poor feeding constipation jaundice one of the causes of the jaundice is congenital hypothyroidism dry skin large fontanel they are all the important clues how you identify it? there is a low free t4 and a high tsh and treatment is levothyroxine is considered to be the treatment now doctor newborn baby is born parents are very happy they are just planning to discharge mother undergone cesarean section whole family is happy suddenly the baby is bilirubin started shooting up so that is a very common condition jaundice in the newborn now doctor also for the neat pg favorite question what are the essential investigations in a baby who is being delivered to rh negative mother you have to do direct combs test peripheral smear you need to look for hemolysis the baby's blood group reti count serum bilirubin and uh, that is both total and direct and hemoglobin percentage these are the investigations crigler nazer may crigler nazer can lead to development of a significant amount of carnictrus why because crigler nazer is having a problem with uh, the glucuronyl transferase 
that is the reason you have unconjugated bilirubin unconjugated bilirubin easily goes to the brain and lead to the development of carnictorus is what you need to remember now few numericals favorite numericals of examiner serum total bilirubin more than how much it will be in pathological jaundice more than 15 and the rate of rise of the serum total bilirubin 0 0.2 0 0.2 please don't forget 0 0.2 milligram percentage per hour or more than 5 milligram percentage per day is considered to be a significant uh, pathological rise any direct serum bilirubin more than 15 percent of the total bilirubin or more than 2 milligram percent of direct serum bilirubin is considered to be a pathological jaundice. Similarly, any clinical jaundice persisting beyond 2 weeks, this numericals examiner aapko pakad ke puchega, bhai bolo kitna hai, kitne weeks hai, do hai, teen hai, char hai, panch hai. What is your answer? Beyond 2 weeks is what you need to remember. Then, Another important definition, any clinical jaundice in the first 24 hours, please don't forget doctor, any clinical jaundice in the first 24 hours is always pathological. Now what are the causes for a prolonged unconjugated neonatal jaundice, hyperbilirubinemia? Typically whenever Clinical jaundice is persisting beyond 10 days. 10 is the golden number in the case of the term baby or more than 14 days in the case of the preterm baby. Think of a prolonged unconjugated neonatal hyperbilirubinemia. What is the cause? It is the immaturity. Similarly, hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, breast milk jaundice, Hypothyroidism, pyloric stenosis, concealed hemorrhage as in the case of the cephalohematoma, malaria, criglanosa. These are the causes especially for unconjugated, unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. Prolonged conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, it is relatively rarer. Please remember, prolonged unconjugated Neonatal hyperbilirubinemia is more common, right? Now, when will you observe uh, conjugated hyperbilirubinemia which got prolonged? First time after 3 weeks or 18 days is the common time where you will suspect if there is uh, the jaundice first time noticed after 3 weeks or 18 days that is more likely to be prolonged conjugated hyperbilirubinemia. What are the causes? Neonatal hepatitis, idiopathic infections, incipitated bile syndrome, similarly certain malformations, extra hepatic biliary atresia, gel wedger syndrome, allegheny syndrome, any metabolic disease, very important, total parental nutrition and uh, Chromosomal disorders, they are the causes for the prolonged conjugated, conjugated hyperbilirubinemia. Barabar? Now, physiological jaundice. Whenever there is an ABO incompatibility, there is an exaggeration of the physiological jaundice. Generally for physiological jaundice, there is no treatment required. And always the rule is, you advise to increase the breastfeeding if there is physiological jaundice uh, is considered to be the way to handle. Abhi bhaiya, four terms hai, four commonly sounding terms, magar us oh four terms ke beech mein jameen asma farak hai. Breast milk jaundice, breastfeeding jaundice. Breast feeding failure jaundice. Not four, three. 
ये तीनों के बीच में सक्टल डिफरेंसेस को अगर हम रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं कर पाए तो टुमारोस एग्जामिनर विल कैच हस सो लेट अस बी वेरी शॉर्ट ब्रेस्ट मिल्क जॉन्डिस फंडामेंटली हाउ डज इट प्रेजेंट इट प्रेजेंट्स लाइक एन अनकॉन्जुगेटेड हाइपरबिलिरुबिनीमिया इन ए एक्सक्लूसिवली ब्रेस्ट फेड बेबीज there is a prolonged unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia in exclusively breastfed babies you get breast milk jaundice when will it develop it develops after 3 days and persists for 2 months at times and what is the cause for it doctor basically breast milk mein ek padarth hota hai there is a substance called 3 alpha 20 beta pregnant diol this is the one which is preventing the conjugation of the bilirubin and that is the reason you get the breast milk jaundice is what you need to remember and these babies will form colorless urine and a golden yellow stools classically now breast feeding jaundice breast feeding jaundice what will you remember whenever there is a early onset of breastfeeding jaundice you should think of caloric deprivation or insufficient frequency of feeding whenever there is any breastfeeding jaundice so breast milk alag hai breastfeeding alag hai breastfeeding failure alag hai right doctor breast milk breast feeding breast feeding failure right now how can you prevent breast feeding jaundice this type of jaundice you can prevent by encouraging mothers to nurse as frequently as possible particularly if the bilirubin level is rising is what you have to remember now breast feeding a failure jaundice the lack of the breast feeding results in an inadequate bowel movement and that will prevent the removal of the bilirubin from the body and for them also frequent breast feeding sessions immediately after a newborn is born one of the greatest challenges is for the mother for any mother is uh, especially primary is uh, to bring a orientation between the baby's mouth and the nipple as a pediatrician you are every day in and day out job in the opd is to keep on teaching the nursing mothers about uh, the correct technique of the breast feeding hum aur ek session mein we will try to review already we have reviewed it and uh, all these mcqs there are about 600 mcqs and 40 topics in pediatrics reviewed and hosted in uh, online mbbs.com video library please do subscribe now doctor What is the most common cause of the pathological jaundice? Say, jamane me it was RH incompatibility. But since RH incompatibility is very well tested, nowadays it is the ABO incompatibility is considered to be the most common cause. Is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, comes a very important question in the newborn: Hirschsprung's disease and the <laughs> meconia milia. Make the little baby lie down. Give it a little bit of rest. No worries. Need PG के लिए doctors prepare हो रहे हैं इसलिए बच्चे को जल्दी सुलाओ. Now doctor, what is the differentiating feature between Hirschsprung's and the Meconium milius? Hirschsprung occurs in Down's. Meconium milius, you should think of cystic fibrosis. Recto sigmoid is the level at which Hirschsprung occurs, whereas ileal obstruction is what happens in meconium ileus. Naam hi bol rahe na ileus bolke, isle ileum. Meconium consistency typically is normal in Hirschsprungs, whereas it is very insipicated in case of the meconium ileus. Squirt sign. Agar aap parietal examination kare to forcefully stool will come out. that is squirt sign typically in head springs but not in meconium ileus so fundamentally if you look at the head springs disease doctor in a older infant and children it is the anorexia 
constipation, lack of a physiological urge to defecate. Why there is a problem in the neural plexus, a ganglionic segment is there which is aperistaltic. That is the reason in Hirschsprungs there is a lack of physiological urge to defecate rather there is a dilatation. If you do digital rectal, digital rectal examination, there is an empty rectum, empty rectum and the stool is palpable higher up in the colon. You colon becomes the rectum. So, rectum is empty, stool is there situated in the colon and uh, there is an explosive passage of the stool upon withdrawal of the examiner finger. That's called blast sign. Yeh hota hai, Hirschsprung's disease mein, that is called squat sign is what you have to remember. So doctor, both, if you take uh, both Hirschsprung and meconymilias in both of them, the per rectal examination may empty rectum hai. But anal tone is increased in case of the Hirschsprung's. That is what you need to appreciate. Both Hirschsprung and the uh, meconymilias, they have a narrow colon, but it is usually the rectosigmoid which is narrow in Hirschsprung's. And uh, uh, it is diffuse in case of the meconymilias. Now, doctor, let us talk about the malrotation in the neonate. What is the most accurate and the fastest method by which you can identify the malrotation, doctor, in a neonate? Barium swallow. Barium swallow. The ligament of treats typically will be there on the right side of the abdomen. That is malrotation. Or it will be corkscrew if it is valveless. If you try to do ultrasound and think you can detect using ultrasound, you are mistaken. Ultrasound has a very high false negative rate. For that matter, barium enema, barium enema also is not good because it has a both false positive and false negatives. That is the reason. The neonatal malrotation co, if you want to detect, then barium swallow is the fastest and most accurate method. One of the favorite questions of the examiner. Now, Dr. Neonatal seizures, let us have a quick summary. Tonic seizures, they have the worst prognosis. If I ask you a question, what is the most common biochemical cause of the neonatal seizures associated with hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy? Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy may most common biochemical cause will be examiner puche to aapka answer hona hai hypoglycemia but isolated biochemical abnormality leading to the neonatal seizures means your answer should be hypocalcemia so har ek topic mein doctor five six twisting twisting points rehta hai examiner wahi aapka khan pakdega but you are all the students of dr murli bharadwaj my bol deta hu Padma Vyuh, Neon, the need PG examiner ka Padma Vyuh ka secrets kya hota hai, mai aapko pada leta hon. Okay? Now, what is the prognosis of a hypocalcemic seizures? Always, hypocalcemic seizures prognosis is excellent, is what you need to remember. You have to treat by giving intravenous calcium gluconate. And while giving, you need to do a cardiac monitoring and closely monitor the heart. Abhi examiner puchega most common type of seizure, type of seizure in the newborn. Subtle seizure. Subtle seizure. What is the most common type of mohabbat? Subtle mohabbat. Why sahi? Subtle seizures. Secret looks, silent love. So subtle seizures. GTCS neonates mein hota hi nahi kyunki there is no myelination of the brain so I mean myelination is not complete the only exception is benign infantile neonatal seizures 
बिनाइन इन्फेंटाइल लियोनाइडल सीजर जिसको कहते हैं फिफ्थ डे जीडीसीएस सीजर फिफ्थ डे जीडीसीएस इफ इट डेवलप्स द डायग्नोसिस इज बिनाइन इन्फेंटाइल लियोनाइडल सीजर्स बट अदरवाइज जीडीसीएस इज नॉट टिपिकली सीन इन न्यूनेट्स अच्छा भैया व्हाट इज द बेस्ट टाइप ऑफ ईईजी इन द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आफ्टर एस्फिक्सिया it is the amplitude integrated eeg what type of eeg is best in the first 24 hours of transfixia for prognosis amplitude integrated eeg is ko kehte hain ye eeg jaise chai mein masala chai hota hai aur garam masala chai hota hai waisa hi eeg mein bhi ek amplitude integrated hai so amplitude integrated ka matlab kya hota hai you are basically using filtration and compression of the eeg that enables evaluation of the long term changes long term changes that is typically called the uh, amplitude amplitude integrated eeg and uh, you will also be analyzing the trends in the electrocortical background activity That is what you do in amplitude associated EEG. A EEG is what you need to remember. Now, what are the causes of seizures, doctor? Fat of it, bolo. Most common cause of the neonatal seizures: hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Intracerebral hemorrhage is a cause in 10 to 15 percent of cases. If it is a thorough neonate, it is the primary subarachnoid hemorrhage, or if ए टरम बेबी को ब्रीच डिलीवरी किया और ए लार्ज इन्फेंट है सिफिलोपेल्विक डिस्प्रपोर्शन है देन देर इज ए गुड चांस ऑफ सब्जूरल हेमरेज सब्जूरल हेमरेज बॉक्सर्स में होता है ना बॉक्सिंग करे तो होता है राइट सो फ्यूजलिस्टिक का डिमेंशिया बोलते ना हाँ सो सब्जूरल हेमरेज इन केस ऑफ द ब्रीच डिलीवरी प्री टर्म बेबी इसमें वॉट इज द कॉज प्री टर्म में देर इज अ ब्लीड इन टू द जर्मिनल मैट्रिक्स intraventricular hemorrhage intraventricular hemorrhage parenchymal bleed they are all the causes cns infection is only 5% of the causes of the neonatal seizures metabolic causes hypocalcemia hypoglycemia hypomagnesemia they are all the causes then certain malformation structural lesions very important entity doctor non ketotic hyperglycinemia it presents with myoclonic seizures and in the csf there is a increased glycine which is a very important clue for the non ketotic hyperglycinemia now pyridoxine deficiency seizures also doctor please don't forget lot of refractory seizures are happening aap sab kuch kiya kuch bhi nahi ho raha hai that time if you give pyridoxine no dramatically seizures stop that is called pyridoxine deficiency seizures as a cause of the neonatal seizures please don't forget one of the favorite question similarly folinic acid response seizures is another important neonatal seizures is what you need to understand so when we talk neonatal seizures hypocalcemia ko best prognosis hai first rank in the class hypoglycemic seizures worst prognosis worst prognosis it can lead to cortical blindness and uh, you have to quickly check occipital lobe temporoparietal involvement using the mri in case of hypoglycemic seizures and what is the treatment of the neonatal seizures doctor what is going to be your answer one and only answer phenobarbitone is what you have to remember so doctor once more get inspired study every day subscribe into the online mbbs.com video library and also don't forget to join whatsapp study group call 9000868356 you have a live youtube broadcast generally every day 7 between 7 to 11 pm we have it and uh, by joining online mbbs.com video library you get mcqs videos and in the whatsapp group you get study mates handwritten notes etc etc thank you very much 
once more this is dr murli bharadwaj your everyday classmate roommate youtube mate to inspire you to prepare for neat pg thank you